you doubt me New York six figure deal, I'm chillin' on South Beach Live from Staples Center in Los Angeles, it's the Los Angeles Clippers and the Seattle Supersonics. Hi everybody, Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. They're just about set for the introductions. Let's go to the public address. Steve, as this one gets going, what are the keys for Los Angeles? Well, they're going to have to put their best defenders on Richard Lewis, Mark, because he's a versatile offensive performer. He can step outside and shoot three-pointers or use that six-foot-ten frame to post people up on the block. Richard making the all-star team for the first time in 2005, and there should be many more to come. Ridenauer walks it across. to Lewis Seattle gets it across Wilcox draws the double team and Ray Allen off the mark Cassell to the front court delivery to McGetty Cassell with the shot and gets the friendly rim Ridnauer comes across. For three, the jumper is off the mark. Great defense there, Mark, forcing a very difficult shot. Cassell working the point. Shot clock is down to four. Wilcox on the block. That's his first rejection. And Catino Mobley able to knock it down. Ridnauer bringing it across. Five on the 24. Down to three. Three on one. Cassell with the jumper. Jumper off the mark. And Chris Kamen off the follow. Terrific effort there on the offensive glass, Mark. That's pure hustle. Ridnauer walking it up. Delivery to Allen. Off the mark. Handled by McGinney. And again, Los Angeles on the run. Cassell on the hop. It's picked off. Two on one. And slams it down. More of offense is often created by good defense, and that time the steal leads to the easy bucket. Cassell in possession.
Now here's the double, and he gives it up. Keenan with the jumper. Shot clock is down to two. He hit it. Well, that's why you get the ball into the hands of your best shooter with the shot clock winding down, Marv. You never know. He might just throw it up there and knock it down. Ridnauer looking over to the bench. Seven on the 24. Delivery to Lewis. Lewis turns it over. It's a three-on-one. Mobley again. Oh, beautiful move by Mobley. That's an 11-2 run for the Clippers. Marv, you have to like the way this team is so well prepared for this game. They've gotten off to this quick start. So much energy and passion in their play. They've really gotten the fans behind them. Ridnauer playing the point. Nice pass inside. Swift firing. The Supersonics able to keep it alive. And the bucket. Marv, anytime you're trailing, if you can get a second chance opportunity, it's a big lift emotionally. Cassell walks to the front court. To Kamen. Mobley to the pull-up. And Catino Mobley not able to hit. Marv, most coaches want four or five passes before a shot. That one was way too early in the possession. Delivery to Ridnauer. Beautiful shot. Cassell moving to the front court. Good job by Ridnauer. Mobley was wide open. Stolen! Three on one. Lewis finding room and rebounded by Brand. Well, it's about all you could hope for. A nice, easy attempt, but they just can't make a shot. And Sam Cassell comes up short. Holy McGetty to the rim. You got to finish off the play defensively, Marv. You force the miss, but you've got to secure the rebound. Ridnauer looks to the bench. That was a three-point attempt. Keenan on the rebound. What great defense, Marv. Challenging the shot and forcing a very difficult attempt. Well, they did a nice job offensively, Marv, but they just did not finish the play. Marv, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. They just didn't make the basket. Cassell on a quick release, and Catino Mobley with the assist. Ridnauer walks it across. Yes! Cassell to the front court. And a foul on the Super Sox. To number eight, Luke Wignauer. That's his first personal team foul, number one. Mobley was wide open. Yes! What an acrobatic maneuver, Marv. That was a spectacular play. Cassell setting things up. Six on the 24. Cassell sets it up, and Elton Brand off the mark. That's a tough spot to be in, Marv. Shot clock winding down, very difficult attempt. 
Ridnauer now running the offense. To Lewis. Lewis fires. Rebound by Moldman. That's great defense there, Marv. You force the difficult attempt with the shot clock winding down. But Getty sets it up. And Sam Cassell not able to hit. Here come the Sonics. Two minutes to go. Lewis gets inside. Rashard Lewis able to stuff. Cassell comes across. And a foul is called. Ridnauer will sit down, replaced by Collison. Cassell at the line. Cassell is a terrific shooter, Marv. I think absolute textbook form. I mean, if you want to coach somebody how to shoot the ball, this is the guy you look at. You look at his elbow, his follow-through, everything just where it should be, and that's one of the reasons why he's such a fantastic clutch shooter. Allen setting up. He fires from downtown, not able to hit the three. Cassell bringing it across. But very difficult shot there, Marv. Somehow managed to get it in. Cassell walking it up. Feeling for Collison. And he gives it up. Allen coming over with some help defense. And Chris Kamen comes up short. To Allen. Allen looking to make his move. And Ray Allen has now been able to do it at the offensive end. Terrific job in the open floor, Marv, creating an easy basket. And they're really trying to push the tempo here in the first half. Cassell directing traffic to Cassell. Cassell sets it up. Shot block. Shot block is down to three. Kamen with the jumper. And Chris Kamen off the mark. Brand takes to the rim, and Elton Brand able to lay it home. He loved the hustle, Marv. The offensive board leads to the putback, and that's pure energy right there. Wilcox with an open shot, handled by Kamen. That's the end of the first. The Clippers lead by five. Here's the inbounds pass. Cassell in possession. The steal. It's a two on one. Ridnauer able to extend. That's about all you could hope for there, Marvin. Nice attempt, easy shot, just couldn't convert. Hedging over. And the field goal. Cassell walks to the front court. To Mobley. To McGetty. Shot. 
Shot clock down to seven. And Sam Cassell not able to hit. And Chris Kamen comes up short. And Elton Brand is able to knock it down. Well, if they want to get the lead back in this game, Marv, they're going to have to secure the boards and find a way to keep this team from getting easy baskets. Ridnauer setting it up. And Rashard Lewis off the mark. Keenan coughs it up. And the bucket. Eight and a half remaining in the second. Clippers up by three. Cassell working at the point. To Brand. Brand, he's been off. And Elton Brand not able to hit. Way too early for that shot, Marv. I know he can make that, but you can get that shot any time in the possession. And Luke Ridnauer able to hit. Cassell moving to the front court. LA able to handle it. Rejected. Oh, that's good, solid defense there, Marv. You got to contest every shot. I like what this club is doing. And puts it down. Boy, is he fun to watch, Marv. He's just so creative with the ball. Cassell running the club. Beautiful switch. Good team defense. Mobley with the jumper. Oh, what a shot by Mobley. NBA players are too good shooters, Marv, to leave wide open like that. They're going to make that shot nine times out of ten. Delivery to Allen. Keeman stepping over. Shot clock with seven seconds remaining. And rebounded by Keenan. Excellent job defensively challenging the shot there, Marv. Cassell looks to set it up. Delivery to Mobley. Shot clock to four. Shot clock at two. And Sam Cassell able to hit on the rainbow shot. Marv, he hit a terrific shot there, but you see the defense contesting that attempt. If they continue to do that all night, they'll be fine defensively. Allen gets it down low. Yes. He's Lewis. Cassell sets it up. Delivery to McGetty. Shot clock at seven. Now to two. Keenan makes his move. And Chris Keenan not able to hit. Wilcox rebounds. And stuffs. He has amazing court sense, Marvin. He always puts the ball right on target. Cassell setting up. Delivery to Cassell. Shot clock is down to seven. Swift ends up with it. Marv, they'd like to increase the lead here, and the only way to do that is continued pressure defense. The nifty pass, Marvin. It was the deception that created the opening. Seattle has gotten out in transition, made some easy hoops. That means they don't have to slow things down and set up in the half court. Here's Allen. And Ray Allen comes up short. Terrific help defense there, Marv, on the interior. Los Angeles needs to get something going here. Cassell working up high to Mobley. 
for three. The jumper is off the mark. Bob Hilt has preached defense all season long, Marv. It looks like it's finally paying off. And Ray Allen got the roll. Mike Dunleavy either needs a timeout or he's got to get his team into good position offensively. They need a score. Los Angeles looking to locate their flow. To Mobley. To McGetty. Cassell was wide open. Well, I think the pace of this game is having an effect on the jump shooting, Marv, because the legs just aren't there. You can see that one did not look good. Here's Allen. Yes, from downtown. And Mike Dunleavy, apparently not liking what he's seeing, takes a timeout. Watson has come on. Mike Dunleavy calling a timeout here, Marvin. I think he's imploring his team to play with some energy. They look like they've got nothing out there right now. to play. L.A. trying to stop the run. Livingston handling the basketball. Nice entry pass. Yes! Ridnauer walks it across. Nice pass inside. Fortson is turned back. It's a three on one. Ross looking for the open man, and he puts it down. Well, you have to love their intensity defensively, Mark. Coming up with the steal and converting it into the bucket at the other end. Ridnauer to the front court. Seven on the 24. Watson gets it to Collison. That's a four shot. Rebrocha had a hand up and that changed the shot. Well, in a close game, Marv, you can't give up anything easy in this team playing tough defense inside. Here's Livingston. And he scores, getting the friendly roll. Ridnauer comes across. And that is his first field goal. Livingston trying to set up. They double up. Shot clock down to seven. Five on the 24. Here's the steal. It's a three on two. Ridnauer able to break it down. And Luke Ridnauer not able to take advantage on the fast break. Marv, this team needs to continue to gather momentum. You can't miss easy ones like that or you'll give up this lead in a hurry. Watson will take a seat. Replaced by Allen. Cassell has checked in. Shot clock with seven seconds remaining. Shot clock with five seconds remaining. Oh, what a shot by Cassell. Well, with a hand in his face, he somehow manages to make it anyway. Beautiful switch to Lewis. Lewis with the jumper. Rebound by Mobley. Well, he really bailed the defense out there, Mark. That's a very difficult attempt early in the shot clock. Seattle has a big edge in the turnover battle here tonight, Marv. That's a result of good pressure defense. 
Well, you have to love the transition, Marv. They get the ball, get out, run the open lanes, and find the open man. Easy two there. Mobley with the jumper, and Coutinho Mobley off the mark. But when you have a lead, you want to continue to try to build upon it, and the way you do that, Marv, is solid defense. To Allen. Delivery to Allen. And Ray Allen not able to hit. To McGetty. But Getty looking to get it into the post. And Elton Brand comes up short. And he flings it. And halfway through this one, the Clippers trail by four. The Clippers in a close ball game as we head to the second half, but they must be wary of the fact they've been a very poor third quarter team. Well, I'm sure that's what the talk focused on at halftime. This club needs to come out with some intensity in this third quarter and try to reestablish a low post game. Here we go. They're setting things up. Cassell sets it up. And scores. Brand is 3 for 13 from the field. Ridnauer bringing it across. Seattle able to handle it. And Rashard Lewis off the mark. They've got to continue to rebound, Marv, because despite the fact that they're losing, they're really controlling the glass. You take a look at the numbers there, and, you know, eventually that really wears a team down. Ridnauer now running the team. To Lewis. Lewis gets it inside. And the field goal. Allen is 5 for 10 from the field. Marv, you can't leave him open. This guy is a terrific shooter. He'll bury you if you leave him wide open. Cassell handling the ball. Here's the double. And he gives it up. Open opportunity. Yes, from downtown. Holy McGetty. Ridnauer walking it up. Good job by Cassell. Wilcox finds the room. Shot clock at seven. Shot clock to five. Swift gave it up. And Chris Wilcox with the bucket. Cassell in possession. Corey McGetty able to hit. Ridnauer walks to the front court. Delivery to Wilcox. Wilcox.
Cox. Looking for the open man. Yes. Cassell moving to the front court. Delivery to Kamen. Swift with the block. Offensively, that's what they wanted to do, Marv. They got a shot in the lane, but they've got to convert. And Luke Ridnour with a beautiful touch inside. Cassell walks it across. That was a three-point attempt. And able to knock it down. Mark, he got that shot to go, but I'm not so sure his coach really liked the attempt. In fact, I can hear him screaming at him right now. Ridnour setting up at the offensive end. And he gets the friendly roll. The assist to number eight, Luke Ridnour. Cassell setting it up. And Elton Brand not able to hit. Marv, sometimes great shooters believe they can make every shot, but this stage of the game, you've got to make the defense work. Ridnour looking for the three, handled by Kamen. Well, in a close game, it is so important defensively to get a hand in the shooter's face every time down the floor. Ridnour to the front court. Yes, Lewis is 7 for 15 from the field. Cassell comes across. Delivery to McGetty. Here's Cassell. And scores. Cassell is 6 for 12 from the field. That's great defense, Mar, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. Ridnour working on the perimeter. He fires from downtown and rebounded by Keenan. Marv, they were certainly fortunate that he missed that shot. How could you leave him so wide open? Brand draws the double. And Elton Brand not able to hit. Marv, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Allen firing, and Ray Allen comes up short. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Marv. L.A. able to handle it. Here's the switch to Cassell. Seven on the 24. And Sam Cassell off the mark. To Ridnour for three. Off the mark. Rebound by Kamen. Well, the defense was extremely fortunate there, Mark. You can't expect to give up wide open looks and win a close game. Mobley gets it to Brand. Delivery to Cassell. Cassell with the move. And Sam Cassell with 17 points. Ridnour bringing it across. Seattle able to handle it. And the field goal. Allen a 7 for 13 from the field. To Mobley. Cassell fires. And Sam Cassell not able to hit. 
Mark, this is how you win basketball games. You challenge every shot and you compete. That's a spectacular move there, Marv. Only a handful of guys in the entire league can make that play. Cassell running the team at the point. Not able to hit the three. Allen was wide open. And Ray Allen got the roll. The assist to number eight, Luke Wignow. Two and a half minutes remaining in the quarter. Los Angeles down by seven. Cassell looking to set up. Open shot. Yes. Brand is four for 16 from the field. Ridnour walking it up. Ray Allen comes up short. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Number four, Nick Collison. Lewis in possession. What a pass. Here's Lewis. And Rashard Lewis off the mark. To Lewis. Brand, good help. The Supersonics able to maintain possession. The Sonics control. Swift with the jumper, handled by Moldman. Three on one. Mobley looking for the open man. Oh, what a shot by Brand. Allen walks to the front court. And scores. Cassell moving to the front court. Getting not able to hit. Marv, down the stretch, every possession counts. You've got to make the defense work and get a better shot than that one. Beautiful switch. Good team defense. Mobley hedging over. Watson coming on. Cassell replaced by Livingston. seconds remaining final seconds and this will do it for the quarter as he flings it three quarters through this game the Clippers trail by five Here we go, they'll put it in play. Ridnour at the point. And Ray Allen comes up short. The Clippers showing great defensive intensity there, Marv, and that's how you come back in the NBA when you're down. Allen coming over with some help defense. Shot clock at six. Lewis had a hand up, and that changed the shot. More of every possession counts, especially in the second half with a close game going in. You shoot a tough shot like that, that's a bad possession. 
Lewis got it down low and rebounded by Keenan. Cassell walks it across and puts it down. But Getty stepping over. And Rashard Lewis off the mark. That's just way too early, Marv. He takes a bad shot with plenty of time on the clock. Got to have a better possession. And Sam Cassell gets the entry pass inside to Corey McGetty. That's his sixth assist. Ridnauer to the front court. Good job by Cassell. To Wilcox. Wilcox double team. Shot clock to six. Now to four. And Rashard Lewis not able to hit. But Getty comes across. Beautiful switch. Mobley fires one up. And the field goal. Mobley is 8 for 14 from the field. What a shot. That was great defense. He just made a spectacular shot. Ridnauer at the point. Here come the Clippers. Mobley, nice move. Coutinho Mobley able to stuff. That's an 8-0 run for the Clippers. Marv, I love the way this team has continued to fight all night long, and they've battled their way right back into this ballgame. Wilcox looking for the opening. That was a three-point attempt. Rebound by Kena. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really the result of very poor execution on that possession. Cassell working the point. Five on the 24. Ridnauer reacting. Rocket. Watson has checked in. Thomas now checking in for Los Angeles. Down to one. The jumper is off the mark. Seattle trying to get into their offense. Watson being guarded. To Ridnauer. Shot clock at five. And a stone. Three on two. Cassell with the shot. Handled by Wilcox. Seattle looking to find some rhythm. Ridnauer on a quick release from downtown. Cassell forces the wild attempt. Another great defensive possession. And Bob Hill wants to talk. Bob Hill finally calling a timeout here, Mark. I think he probably should have called it earlier, but now he's got to find a way to regain his team's momentum. set to resume nice entry pass Mobley able to reach for him. Shot clock down to seven. He'll have to force. 
Yes! Well, that's why they're trailing in this game, Mark. They're giving up wide open looks to good shooters. Ridnauer bringing it across. He fires from downtown. Off the mark. Swift keeps it alive. And rebounded by Thomas. Cassell walking it up. And Corey McGinty comes up short. Ridnauer in possession. Here's the switch. Beautiful switch. Good team defense. Ridnauer with the shot. And he's rejected. Shot clock to one. Watson sits down and is replaced by Allen. And that's a 24-second violation. So the ball back to the Clippers. Well, the defense was well positioned, Marv. They did not give up in any open lanes towards the hoop, and they forced the violation. Mobley walks to the front court. Beautiful switch. Mobley looking to get it down low. And Elton Brand off the mark. Cassell to the rim and gets the friendly roll. That's just too easy, Marv. You can't give up offensive rebound opportunities when you're trailing. Terrific offensive execution there, Marv. Allen moving to the front court. Shot clock to seven. Shot clock down to five. Mobley replaced by Thomas. And the ball back to the Super Sonics. And a 24-second shot clock violation is called. Well, that's how you win in the NBA. You've got to play defense throughout the entire shot clock. That time they forced the violation, but excellent defense overall. Cassell walks it across. Los Angeles moving it across. Nice pass inside. And Sam Cassell with the assist. That is assist number seven. Ridnauer to the front court. Rashard Lewis not able to hit. Excellent pressure defensively, Marv. That's how they built this lead. They'd like to try to build the lead even more. Here's the switch. Thomas looking for the open man. Shot clock with five seconds remaining. Ridnauer comes across. to Lewis Lewis gets it to Wilcox taking it right to Keenan Swift forced to give it up now to one and scores Swift is 4 for 11 from the field very difficult attempt there Mar, but he gets the ball to go in to Cassell delivery to McGinney Beautiful switch. Good team defense. Thomas gets it to Cassell. Shot clock is down to five. And Rashard Lewis called for the foul. That's his first. Defensive foul to number seven, Rashard Lewis. First foul. Brand at the line. First time tonight. Shooting two, Elton Brand.
and Elton Brand with 11 points. Lewis gets it back. Here's the double. And he gives it up. Collison firing. And Nick Collison comes up short. Livingston bringing it across. To Brand. Brand with another good look. Oh, what a shot by Brand. A minute and a half remaining in the fourth. Clippers up by 12. Here's Allen. And the field goal. So that puts Seattle over the foul. And Wilcox has come on. Thomas at the line for the first time. For the Clippers, Tim Thomas. And hits both. Ridnauer looking over to the bench. Delivery to Allen. Allen again. Yes. Allen is 10 for 18 from the field. Oh, that's a foul to stop the clock, and he'll go to the line. To number seven, Michelle Lewis. Livingston at the line, first time tonight. And he makes them both. Ridnauer on the hop. For three. Not able to hit the three. To Thomas. Here's Thomas. And scores. Ridnauer playing the point. That was a three-point attempt. And Luke Ridnauer from way downtown. Three-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Livingston looks to the bench. Shot clock to five. Down to one. Los Angeles called for a 24-second violation. Los Angeles. Into the game for Los Angeles. Number 50, Corey Maggetti. Final seconds, and he'll fire it up from beyond half court. This game's all wrapped up. The final score is 81 to 7. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. We bid you good night from Staples Center. Jordan Brand is proud to bring you the Jordan player of the game.
till we get there.